Hi, I'm Carly Tso and you're very, very welcome. I'm so happy uh, to be here and excited to be here with you. And today we're going to talk about the astrological cards which I have created and how to use them. So it's going to be a fun, practical a tutorial, hopefully with some good messages for your life. Uh, please say hello if you're here. Uh, just uh, say hi, write something, wave, uh, send me a heart because the only way for me to know that people are joining is by your responses. So it would be wonderful to know that people are joining us now uh, for this half hour tutorial of uh, using the astrological cards. Uh, it's going to be half an hour, so I'm kind of guessing that we'll not cover everything to do with the cards, but maybe next week at the same time, we can continue also together with your questions. So again, feel free uh, to say hi, even if you're watching this video later on, uh, write your questions, tell me if you have the cards. If you already have the cards, please have them prepared. I will ask you to use them. Um, today, I think you will get lots of practical tools, tools, whether you have the cards for you to use them or if you're using even other cards. I think this is going to be a very valuable meeting for you. I hope I will be able to see your questions and responses as we talk. Uh, so please leave your messages and questions and remarks and I'll try to, uh, to make sure that I'm also um, responding to you. Okay, so let's start with the cards. The astrological cards were created already nine years ago. Uh, they were first published in Hebrew and then translated to English. And through time, um, they actually went all over the world. And now they're translated to seven different languages. So there are the cards. This is how the box looks. This is how it looks when it's brand new. This is after it done some uh, mileage with me. Um, when you open the box, you can see the 52 cards. Uh, this is the back of the cards and as you can see it's kind of very very different uh, than other cards because they have it's color coordinated there are actually four decks inside of, of this box with four different backgrounds but when you use it you can just shuffle all the cards together and use them as one coherent uh, deck. So you're welcome to say hi. If you think there is a friend that might be interested, tag them. You can also share this video on your page for more people to see. So this would be wonderful. Let's start even without any explanations with taking one card and seeing what is the message for today. So I'm closing my eyes and this is a card that comes out. And this is Mars. This is Mars card, which talks about action. So I think it tells us to be very, very practical and active today. And this is what we're going to do. We're actually going to learn different kinds of readings, how to use the cards. And I hope it's going to be a very interesting and a valuable journey for you. So, and um, just to say that the cards uh, come with instructions. So if you don't have the cards yet and you don't know how to use them, there is a downloadable version of all the information about the different cards. And there is also a more elaborated illustrated guide, which comes in different languages, in seven different languages. So if you speak German, Dutch, it's all covered. You will find your, your language here. And this is how the cards look in Portuguese, which is a bit different and even better than the, the English version. Okay, let's start. So how do we use the astrological cards? The first thing that you can do with any deck of cards, of course, is to think of a question that you want an answer for. And when you do that, try in a meditative way to connect 
to your true desire to find an answer to this question. So you want to think of a question, but here is a very important lesson already. What kind of questions are good to ask with any set of cards, with any deck? So one thing you don't want to do is to ask closed questions, like yes or no questions, because any deck of cards, and especially the astrological cards, are a tool for guidance. So how questions are better. For example, will I get the new job? Yes or no is not a very good question, but how can I make sure I get the new job? What do I need to do in order to get the good relationship I deserve? How to make my relationships better? These are how questions, and these are questions that will give you tools and guidance. So what you want to do is to have in mind this question. So if you have the cards or if you're using any other cards, have a question in mind. If you don't have a card, don't worry. I'm going to pull out one card that will give you the answer that you want. So remember, you can either use your own deck or you can have this collective reading uh, so uh, to, to fit your question. So please have a question in mind. Think of something you want guidance for. If you have your own deck, shuffle the deck. If not, I am doing that for all of us. I'm shuffling the 52 decks of the astrological cards. And after the deck is shuffled, you can just take the first card that pops out. Really, Mars again. <laughs> okay, out of 52 cards, this is kind of interesting. What are, and you saw that I was shuffling the cards. So what are the cards trying to tell us? For any question that you asked, the message is be active. Take an action. Think of a goal. Set your goal and go ahead fearless and achieve your goal. This is a card that tells us that sometimes we need to take action. Sometimes we need to fight. Sometimes we need to have full energy bursting from us in order to get what it is that we want. So be active, go for it, believe in yourself. Yes, so this is our message for the first reading and I hope it gives you a glimpse of an answer to the question that you had. If you took another card from your own deck, please write down the name of the card that you took and I'll be glad to respond uh, about it. And anyhow, you can just say hello, say you're here, wave, send a heart, and, and we can continue. So the first way to uh, use the cards is just by a simple answer. A question, with just by a simple question, and you can do it every day, every morning. The idea is not to wait for the crucial times, the life-changing minutes where I really, really need a big advice. Uh, the idea is really to keep our balances every day and to start our day uh, with taking one card that can help us to understand what is the frequency that is at play at this day? What should I do? What should I learn? What should I bring forth? during this day. So this is with using the astrological cards for one question. Now, as you see, people might not know yet the astrological cards. What turned out is the card of Mars twice. Don't worry, it's not the only card in the deck. And all this deck is actually made of astrological frequencies. So in astrology, we have different houses, the house of spirituality. There are 12 different houses that represent 12 territories of life. They're all here in the cards. Uh, this is, for example, another ha house, which is the house of love and relationships. There are, of course, the 12 astrological signs, Taurus, for example. Now, if you don't know what it means, you don't need to worry because 
in the booklet that comes with the cards there is a short explanation about each card and what it means and this is a free booklet that comes when you purchase the cards so the idea also with the cards is that it's a great doorway for actually learning astrology so if you want to get into this magnificent world of learning about the stars and the planets and our relationship with the universe actually working with the cards is a great gateway to really understanding astrology with not too much effort and believe me i teach astrology usually it can take a whole year at least to get all the terms and to do a chart and this is like a short gateway uh, to, to really understand the astrological frequencies let's see what other cards we have here as an example the true no talks about the karmic lessons the ch life challenges of a person we have here the first house the house of potential and very many many other beautifully illustrated by uh, maya toby Rave. Uh, these are the cards. I created the cards and asked her to illustrate them and she did a magnificent job. Let's learn about a few more um, uh, uh, readings that can really help us, okay? So one reading would be uh, an advice. Uh, you can think about any territory that you would want kind of advice that tells you what to do and what not to do in a certain situation. So what we're going to learn is a three cards reading uh, in which the first card will tell us what to do, what will help us in this situation. The second card will tell us what to avoid, what not to do in that situation. And the third card, is a secret card that will give us an extra message. It might be how to balance between the yes and no or another kind of options. So in this case, we're thinking, please think with me about the territory. If you have your own deck, shuffle your cards. If not, I am shuffling it for us all and I'm hoping Mars won't pop up again. Um, so this time, think uh, you can think about what to do and not to do concerning a relationship you want to, to improve or a situation in, job, in a job or in your workplace or a project uh, that you want to promote. Think of any situation. If you have your own deck, just uh, shuffle your own deck. And if not, you're very welcome to uh, give your trust in the cards that will come out here so we're done shuffling the cards and now we're taking three cards out the first card will tell us what to do okay <laughs> this is an interesting card so the wheel is a very special card we'll do the same reading again later on but the wheel is actually um, a very very interesting card when the wheel turns out in a reading it tells us to stop the reading not to ask about the territory that we just asked about so please play by the rules and if you asked about a certain question we'll do the reading again but don't ask about that territory that you asked about and why not so this is a very important card to learn about maybe it's very good that it came out so you can have the whole explanation about it this card is called the wheel and it talks about all the frequencies of the 12 astrological signs coming together in perfect balance and in perfect harmony when this card comes out it actually tells you that you don't need now to know the answer for your question it's not a bad sign on the contrary it tells you that the universe either wants you to be still in that situation for now or just let the situation reveal itself or let the intelligence come naturally in the next few days don't consult the cards concerning that territory but it's definitely not a bad card at all it just says let this uh, area rest okay so now please 
play by the rules. Think of another territory. I'm leaving this card out now, which is something that you can also choose to do if you want. When you do the readings, you can keep the wheel card out, especially if you're using it for other people and you're working with the cards and you really want to give them the questions, you can, the answers to their questions, you can keep the wheel card open so you and your client see this card and remember that not everything we know, sometimes the magic of the universe wants to come and surprise us. Okay, so this is a reminder. I'm leaving this card open. Think of a new territory, new question that you would want some advice of what to do, what not to do with. I'm shuffling the cards again. Okay, now the first card will tell us what to do. And the card that came out is Sagittarius. Sagittarius asks us, asks us to think freely, to be free, to think out of the box, to go, to explore, to be happy, to be joyful, to think wide, to think globally, not to have any steady uh, rules or ideas, but rather to keep things wide, to be optimist. Uh, to be joyful, to be happy, to be open. So whatever the question that you had, this is your answer for now, which is to be very optimistic first and to allow yourself to be open to the new, not in any kind of box. And uh, if you have any questions, by the way, I'm now looking to see if there are any questions Please write down your questions. I'm not seeing questions, but this might be my, my computer giving me some problems. But please ask me questions. If I don't answer now, I'll answer later. So Sagittarius is what to do. What not to do. Okay, so the card that came out is the card of communication. The third house is all about communication. So when I'm putting these two together, Sagittarius is about learning and expanding our horizons, not having any result. And the card of communication suggests that we might have a, an answer which is not ripe yet. So don't talk about the situation. Don't overthink the situation. Uh, don't um, you know talk to other people about that yet because what you want now to do is really to expand the horizons learn more gather more information and not to waste things still with words or to say things when they're not still final this is there is still a process probably going on so this is what to do which is keep on searching as well and not to do is not to talk about it. Sagittarius also asks us to have a very wide research about something, whilst the house of communication, which is connected also to Mercury and to Gemini, suggests that there is there might be something shallow that you don't really want to say. You really want to go deeper with the situation. Now let's see which card is the secret third card. And this is the second house, which is the house of the tangible. Now I have to say that what I'm using now is an older version of the cards. I'll try to find the new version and to show it to you very, very soon. But in the new version, instead of the second house, which doesn't say much to people who don't know astrology yet, you actually have here the words, uh, the house of the tangible. Or with Mars, it says action. A third house, it says communication. So it's much easier to understand it. I have the older deck with me, but I'll try to show you the, the newer version uh, now or in the next episode. So this is the third card. And what it tells us about the territory you asked about is that you need to have some more substance. And it, now we really understand that there is more research to be done. You still need to research things. You still need to have some 
practical things going on you need to have some more substance some more reference you really need to grasp things before you before you start talking and spreading the word about it so i hope this was helpful for the question that you asked please if you're seeing the video now and even if you're seeing it later on let me know did it answer your question now next week i'll come again and give you some more uh, tools and some other readings but i want to finish with something which is quite different than a reading for today because so there are several readings and it's all in the territory of having questions and allowing the cards to give us guidance which is what most decks and cards do today but the astrological cards have an extra thing today we'll talk about healing with the cards um next time maybe i'll elaborate and demonstrate a a meditation with the cards next week so to say that the 52 cards here they have the different astrological frequencies are 52 natural frequencies uh, each one of them can give us healing to another territory so if you feel for example that you need emotional balance you can take out of the deck the card venus which has to do i'm, I'm searching for it uh, which has to do with emotional balance and with our emotions and the idea with the cards when i created the cards this is the venus card so venus is um the planet which is our sister earth sister it's very close to earth also the same size of it almost um also when we think about uh, the names of the different planets uh, they're all masculine apart from two which is gaia planet earth our mother and venus our sister so venus is a feminine planet and it holds the frequency of love and it talks about emotions and feelings and relationships so if you feel that you need to heal something to do with love and relationships venus would be the card to look at and in an interesting way it's not just looking at it's allowing the healing frequencies of venus to come into your subconscious and talk to your soul that understands the colors the symbols and the frequencies that are here in the card because everything in the card has a meaning and just by taking a look at this card for a while you can leave it by your office or near your bed if you want it put it on your fridge for a few good days and this card does a process of healing your emotions you know every card has so many symbols in them and every symbol really has an esoteric a meaning uh, the rose, the dove, the swan, all symbols of Venus, but not only Venus, also other feminine deities throughout uh, time. There is the star, the pentagramic star, which is also uh, the symbol of Venus, and also Ishtal star. Um, and uh, this is also the pentagram, is the shape that Venus's retrogressions do in the sky the geometric shape uh, the retrogressions do uh, during the years so everything here talks to our natural systems that really understand all of these symbols and of course there is the a symbol of a venus and the waters which have to do with our emotions and the seven colors of the spectrum which also talk about and allow natural healing so our soul really gets these cool uh, colors and allows a, an emotional balance uh, to to happen in us and this is of course if you want 
to have a more balanced emotions but if you want to work on your confidence for example you might want to use the sun star and just by looking at it i'm sure that you feel the very very different frequency now if you're asking how would i know which card to use so in the guide in the more elaborated guide uh, that, can, that that you can get on amazon uh, there is actually an, the A to Z guide. It's a few pages uh, long a guide in which you can find any problem, you know, like stress, anxiety, insomnia, uh, and the card or different cards to look at, meditate about, upon in order to have healing for, for that... Um, area in life so i think this is so uh, just the beginning because using the cards and understanding the astrological frequencies is is a very vast and wonderful wonderful territory if you want to have your deck and you don't have it yet i'm going to leave a link and you can purchase a uh, your deck wherever you are in the world even during corona times it will reach you in two weeks and you will be able to start to work with it if you already have the cards i hope that this video um showed you more options and encouraged you to use the cards daily really leave it with your with you in your purse or by your bed and do daily processes of readings and healing with you a uh, with them a uh, next week i'm going to go live again give you some more readings maybe take a closer look today we talked about the wheel and venus maybe to take a closer look at some other cards and to have a live meditation here uh, with one of the cards uh, and everything is of course tools that you can use later on with yourself or even with your clients feel free to use this information spread it on spread the word use the astrological cards and i wish you a very wonderful time i did understand that there were questions and comments so thank you so much i will take a look later on and try to answer all your questions and hopefully next time we'll, we'll be able to see the questions as they appear please write here in the comments what you thought about this uh, live workshop your questions and uh, requests for the next uh, meeting that we'll have next week this time and uh, keep safe keep well Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.